Hey Ghosties, this is Fino. Um, it's been a while since I've done a channel update. It's actually been a long time. Three, four weeks, I think. It's been, it's been a chunk of time. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things in this video. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, I have thought of some of the things I want to talk about here, but I'm really not sure everything. Um, as you guys can tell, there's a new background. Um, same background, old background. Um, everything might look a little bit different. Um, we actually even have some cool little like, pew, maybe, maybe if I can do it right. Pew, pew, pew. I don't know. It's supposed to turn lights on, but it doesn't look like they work very well at all. Um, so there's that. They work. I just don't know why they're not working. It's a bit of a bummer considering it would have been cool to show you guys that in the podcast. Maybe the batteries are dead. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we changed the background up a little bit. Um, primarily, I wanted to put something in the background that you guys could kind of watch when I do these videos, such as my content coming up the week. Um, I've been doing it for three weeks, I think, now on the podcast, and I like it. It's cool. It gives me something to kind of monitor while I'm working, and I can put that up, and you guys can kind of get a sneak peek of some of the content coming up in the week, minus commentary, obviously. So we did rearrange that. We've got Arcanine, we've got the EVs, we've got the Pokemon cards. So yeah, everything is going really well from a station setup. We are, obviously the mic, you can see it now. It's a little bit closer. We've been working on the audio clarity. We've been working on the uh, picture quality. The, everything has been worked on and I'm trying to get it to that spot where I'm really, really happy with it. And we're almost there. I think we're almost there. Windows pushed out an update and it broke everything that I've been working on. Um, but whatever they did with the update actually made the Elgato not have to be so quiet for me. I don't know what was going on with my operating system and my sound. Um, the mic works a lot better. Oop, I bumped it. Whoops. Um, it works a lot better. It picks me up a lot better and my voice sounds a lot clearer and I didn't change anything. Just updated my computer and it seems to work a lot better. Um, so Pokemon, I know I haven't talked about Pokemon in a long time. I'm still buying cards every once in a while. I actually pulled this guy um, yesterday. Um, really nice pull. I bought two packs and I was like, boom, look at that. That's pretty sweet. So I'm still collecting Pokemon cards. I'm still having a good time. I do want to do a video at some point going through like the favorite cards that I currently have and just showing off some of my collection. Uh, it's not very big, but I would like to do that. I still love Pokemon. It's still very near and dear to my heart. And yeah, I'd like to keep that a thing here on the channel, whether it's sprinkled in and not just like full blown. As for the content here on the channel, content, wow. Um, we've been playing a lot of games. Um, we've been playing Dead Cells. We've been playing Monster Slayers. We've been playing Minion Masters. Um, some of those series have been played for a longer period of time. Um, and we also started playing some Diablo 3 which should be wrapping up. I'm just trying to get with Zudu to do the final episode that hopefully will be up this week. Um, so there's that. I also, I haven't, hadn't been doing my Let's Look Ats as frequently since we put up a new name. I did one a couple weeks ago. It was a lot of fun. I can't even think of the game I played. I remember enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I remember enjoying what I played. Uh, but really, Dead Cells is great. The game is fantastic, and the downside to Dead Cells is that it's not doing well here on the channel. Um, for whatever reason, it, you guys don't seem to like watching it. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep playing it for right now on the channel just because I really enjoy playing the game, um, and I don't want to get rid of that. I want to keep playing that game. Um, however, I don't know how much it's going to be going up. I'm going to give it a shot and put it up a couple times to three times a week. Let's see what happens there. Um, the time slots is really one of the big things I want to talk to you guys about here. Um, I was putting up content six days a week. I was doing at least two videos a day, um, six days a week. I'm dialing it back a little bit. Um, I want to try to put a little bit more structure in what I'm doing here on the channel. I know I put, like last time we talked, I put a game cap. I'm only going to play so many different games. I'm only going to put so much time into those different games. Um, stuff like that. And one of the things that I really want to do is I want to start playing for showdown again, as you can see back there. Um, I played it this week. It's going to come up later this week and it was a blast. The game was fantastic. I 
forgot how much I really enjoyed it, but I don't want it to be a daily. And so right now I play a lot of games and I do them every couple days. So you get a game, then two days later you get the same game, two days later you get the same game or something like that. I'm going to keep doing that for most of my content, but I'm going to play forced hopefully once a week. I want to play Force showdown once a week. It's fun and in the meantime i want to play it i never really got into the deck building aspect of it i really just did a lot of the bullet hellish kind of going through the levels um so i'm going to start trying to play with the deck building a little bit more see what depth really is there um so we're going to play that this week we're going to play it next week in the meantime we're going to play that we are wrapping up uh diablo again it's done uh ori in the blind forest also wrapping up that game is spectacular um choked up at the end of the game it was touching um it was a good game i highly recommend either watching it or playing it um it's challenging but it was well worth it in the end the game design in that is flawless it is easily one of the best games i think i've ever played um of that genre it's it's spectacular the art is beautiful the music is beautiful the story is just beautiful everything in the game was really really good um so we're wrapping that up um monster slayers still gonna stick around i'm playing that with my wife currently it's a lot of fun we enjoy playing it together so we're gonna keep playing that and i think i'm trying to convince her to come and play forced with me um so beta dwarf is the developer of the Minion Masters games and Force Showdown. Um, but their first game that I know of was Forced. And I've dabbled in buying it and I've dabbled in wanting to play it for a while. And I actually picked it up this week. Um, and I really want to play that with her. Maybe just a mini series. We'll see. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I am going to convince her to play it. it it's going to happen. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna convince her. Um, mini Masters. We are at 111 episodes and going strong. The game is fantastic. Um, I forgot about draft mode. I hadn't played it since it like came out. So I did that this week. I'm going to start trying to do draft week once a week. Um, we put mini masters up three times a week. And I feel like there's a lot of flexibility in the different types of videos I can put up pertaining to that series. So we're going to keep working on that. We're going to do a draft day every week maybe. Um, we're going to do maybe a brawl day. I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. And yeah, that sentence makes no sense and it doesn't have to. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of the stuff. Um, the big thing that I really want to announce is Slime Rancher comes out August 1st. Um, those of you who have been here on the channel for a long period of time know that I absolutely love Slime Rancher. It was one of the first series I ran here on my channel reboot and I did everything in it that I really found interesting. And now there's they're up to version 0.6, which introduced like four more slimes, um, a whole new area. And then on August 1st, the game officially releases. It's coming out of early access and it's going to have even more content. And so we're going to play it. August 1st, I'm going to start playing Slime Rancher again. I'm super excited to play the full release. Um, you can also go check out um, their store page if you like Slime Rancher. They've got plushies on sale. Holy shit. And no, this is not sponsored. But Slime Rancher plushies are the cutest. They're the most adorable little fuckers in the world. And they are so cute. And I'm ordering those um, probably today. I'm going to get those. Um, I'm going to order one of each. They've got the cat slime, the tabby slime. They have the normal little pink guy. And then they've got the honey slime. And... Those of you who watched my series know that the honey slimes are where the money's at. It's where the money's at early on. And so, yeah, I'm looking a lot forward to, I'm looking very forward to dabbling and jumping back on into Slime Rancher. Uh, the game is fantastic and I love it. So there's a lot of games going on right now on the channel. And I like that. I like that I have a large variety. I did reboot the Let's Look At series. I know it has been a bit of, it's been a little while, but we did it. Let's look at is coming back. I played Goner this week. Um, it's game is really cool. It has a really, really, really cool art style. It's really unique. Everything looks like it's made with like paint and like brush strokes. And just playing it, it feels like you're in a painting that's trying to kill you. And it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, very bullet hellish. It's like uh, Dead Cells. Very similar to Dead Cells. Um, but more 
twitchy um, than methodical than Dead Cells. Harder than Dead Cells. I think the game is thoroughly challenging. Um, so, yeah. that Give that a look if that's your cup of tea. It was a lot of fun. I highly recommend checking out the video. It's, like, super cheap on Steam, and it was a lot of fun. Um, with that, thank you all. 80 subs. It's fantastic. It, it feels great to be at 80 subs. Um, it's nice. It's really good. Um, we're getting there. We're going up. I haven't lost a sub in, I think, a week. Um, don't go on sub now because I said that. Don't jinx it. Um, so we're going. I'm hoping to hit 100. I'd love to hit 100 by the end of the summer. Um, the goal is by September to have 100 subs. That would be great. Like, really great. Um, seeing the channel slowly grow and seeing me just me in general slowly grow has been really cool for me to experience and i hope it's been great for you guys to watch like i went from recording on one crappy little screen with a headset microphone and no camera to what we do now here on the channel which is a weekly podcast and i've got three screens here i've got a screen running in the back i've got two computers just pumping out i'm rendering now on one i'm recording this on another um, I've got a Blue Yeti microphone with the double boom going on now. I've got the boom stand and the little boom foam thingy and lighting, like just seeing the way that this whole station has kind of grown with me all in all has been really, really cool. And I hope it continues to evolve. I hope that you guys will continue to share the videos, continue to like the videos and continue to enjoy the content, interact with me. Um, Minion Masters by far has been the best series here on the channel. You guys love giving me deck recommendations. You guys love talking and recommending different play styles or other videos that I can go watch, which I, I almost never do. Sorry. Sorry, Warm Fury. Um, but it's great, and I love seeing that happen down there and just knowing that my content that I'm creating here is creating some sort of conversation down there. Um one thing that I really, really, really want to do here on the channel is some sort of news show, some sort of episode where it's like three to six minutes and just take a news thing that happened this day, uh, that day or this week and just talk about it. And Philip DeFranco is a YouTuber that I watch every day. Every day I watch Philip DeFranco, Monday through Thursday. Um, Friday, I don't always watch because I don't really care about his recap. Um, of what he did for the week prior, but his new show is really fascinating. The way that he opens up his dialogue and wants to create a conversation. He has an opinion, and he, but he never really takes a side. He's always very, let's discuss, let's talk. I love the conversation. And I would love to do that, but move it into a gaming kind of environment. Um, something where we can talk about what's happening in the gaming industry and rather than it just being me, hopefully opens up some sort of dialogue down in the comment section below. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to find the time to do it. Um, it'll probably start out when it does finally happen. When it does happen, I'll announce it um, for starters. Um, but I want to keep you guys there. The ones that you guys are watching the channel who watch these updates, I want to keep you guys informed of where my head's at while I'm doing this. Um, and some sort of new show is really something I would love to do. Um, we've got the podcast, um, Zoo Dude, Dave, um, and Razor has now like officially joined the Unwatchable crew. Uh, go check his content out. You can find him in the Unwatchables crew featured spot on the side of my channel. Um, yeah, he put up a Spider-Man review. Go check it out. Um, he's got, again, he's trying to open up. He's got a conversation. He wants to talk about stuff and he wants to have a good time. And that's really what all the Unwatchable crew here is trying to do. Um, a lot of these channel updates are really about me and, like, what's going on with my channel, what's going on with the way I'm doing things and what's coming. And one of the things that I really like to also embrace is the fact that I have a great group of friends and we're all trying to make content. And we're all doing it a different way. Zoodude is, like, great at the editing and he does fantastic things over there um and i'm great at just pumping out great content in my opinion great content and keeping you guys entertained and kind of us blending i've started doing a little bit more editing and very minimal editing but a little bit of editing and then seeing his content kind of come over and be like i'm gonna put up more content and i'm gonna then do my focused editing and then you have dave who's i i think he's sleeping i think he's like hibernating right now 
Um, haven't seen the new video in like two weeks. If you watch this, I'm calling you out, man. I'm looking for some Final Fantasy content. I'd love to watch it. Um, and then you've got Razor, who's like fully on the other side of the spectrum, where he hasn't done any video game footage yet, but he's talking movie reviews and he's going to do game reviews and stuff like that. Um, it's really fascinating to me to see that we're all like friends. We all know each other in real life and we're all doing things in a very different way here on YouTube that caters to our personalities. And that's what I'm trying to foster here. It's what we're all trying to foster here um, through the podcast and through the games we play as collabs and just plugging each other in all of our content that we try to do where we're just go check out Zudu's channel or go check out Razor's channel or go check out Dave's channel. Like being there for each other when we're doing this is really the important part. And I think we're, we're good for that. We're going strong. We're crushing it. And I'd love to see us all continue to grow. And I think we will. As long as we all stick at it, I think we're all going to continue to grow. So go check out their channels. You've got Zoodude is over there playing Injustice 2, kicking ass and taking names. You've got Razor, who's very fresh. He's only got a couple videos up right now. But if you're interested in Spider-Man, you've seen the movie and you want to know somebody else's opinion on it, go check that out. And then Dave is hibernating, but he's got a catalog of Persona 5 videos over there that you can go watch along with some other great content of games that he's played, um, including a full Bioshock playthrough. So go check that out. Um, going forward, this is where I'm starting to get stuck. What's next? What's next for the channel? Obviously, I'd love to be able to pull off a new show um, when I talk like what's next with like Razor, um, he's always like, do game review, do a review. You play all these damn games, do a review. And I'm like, I don't know how to articulate it in a great way. I feel I, I want to be able to do a review and I do want to push out reviews. I've been talking about doing a Horizon Zero Dawn review for months um, and I want to. I just have to figure out how I want to do it. One of the things that really bothers me with reviewers and like people who give reviews is their score this generic freaking little number that they attach to a game and yeah you can read off your opinion and everything but once you're done giving your opinion you i don't think you should allocate a number to it you shouldn't give it a value or a grade or a score because it's your opinion all you're doing is scoring your opinion of the game you're i feel like the opinion should be enough I don't think that numbers or grades or scores belong in a system like that. I just don't. I don't think so. Um, nobody likes grades like when you're in school. That's not you don't want to see the D. Nobody wants to see a D for a game you're like anticipating. It creates hostility in an environment where games are meant to be fun and as soon as you start scoring games poorly, it no longer becomes fun. And I think that a review should literally just be an opinion followed by a would you buy it um did you like it like stuff like that jeremy johns does a fantastic review system he never gives a score he's got buy it on blu-ray he's got awesome tacular so he's got these key phrases that really represent his opinion without ever applying a score and even his systems he's mentioned have gotten flack for if like it's not buy it on blu-ray or awesome tacular it's not worth getting and it's, it's super flawed, and I'm trying to figure out a way around that, something that I can give my opinion on without applying something where somebody says, oh, he said awesome-tacular, got to check it out. Everyone's guilty of it. They want to play the best thing. If you see a game that got a 10 and you see a game that got a 4, no matter how good the game that got a 4 looks on the box or anything you've heard your friends say, you're going to gravitate all the way over to the one that got a 10. It's how human nature works. You want... You don't want to buy an inferior product and feel stupid in the end. And that makes sense. So I really do want to do some sort of like review kind of thing, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. And we're working through that, or I'm trying to work through that as well. So which one will come first, the review or the news? We'll see. There's a lot of channels out there that do news. There's a lot of channels out there that do reviews and trying to pull out and make my own little gimmick and attach it to it is what's going to be tricky. Um, obviously you guys like me because you're here and you're subbed and you're enjoying the content that I'm producing, but I don't want to take advantage of that and just say, I liked this game, go buy it. Um, I feel like there should be a justification about it and I'm trying to 
tune that so that I can feel confident in talking about it. So that's where we're at with that. Um, that's almost it. The podcast apologies last week was a bit rough. Um, I missed basic upload times. Mini masters went up late two days in a row. Dead cells went up an entire day late. The podcast went up an entire day late. Um, I was on vacation for a couple days. I had to drive out of state, um, to, uh, pick somebody up from the airport. So I was out and because I wasn't at work, which is where I do my uploading, my wife was doing my uploading and my content got hit. I wasn't ready to give her the content. So it was all going up like same day and that impacted my upload. And I apologize for that. I should have thought it out more like I usually do. Um, historically when I go on vacation, I prep the work, I'm good to go and I get content ready for the next week while I'm out. This week didn't go very smoothly and I do 100% apologize for that. Um, for those of you that were waiting on mini masters, even though they were only like, it was like 13 minutes late, um, or dead cells, which was an entire day late. The podcast, the podcast, it was ready. The podcast was ready. 100% uploaded and good to go by the time it needed to go. And when it uploaded, it got blocked worldwide. Why did it get blocked worldwide? Because at the end of the podcast, we were poking fun over at Razor and having a good time. And I said that I was going to edit the Gary the Mormon clip from South Park to the video. I did that. The problem is, is it got blocked worldwide. Um, I'm assuming because it starts with the South Park music. Um, so I had to take the video down. I had to re-render and re-edit the video without it in it and then get it back uploaded, which I wasn't at work. So I had to do it the next day. My wife uploaded it for me. It was a nightmare getting the thing ready. So jokes on me, I guess, for trying to poke fun and have a good time. It did not go the way I wanted it to. So the podcast was a day late. It was a good podcast. Uh, we had Razor as a guest and it was good. Um, hopefully Dave will be able to join us again this week. Um, as of recording this, I'm assuming so we'll see. Um, so yeah, everything is going really good on the channel. I'm still here. We're still going strong. We're going to keep playing games. Um, we've got slime rancher. Um, I've got a whole list of steam games over here for let's look at, um, and other things. I don't know what I want to do with them. I don't know if I want to do another full series right now where it's story driven. I like, I like, and I think you guys like the games that aren't story driven, um, more so, especially where a lot of the games that are story driven, I'm playing so late. Um, if you guys were really interested in Ori in the Blind Forest, I'm sure you guys would have watched Ori in the Blind Forest, however many years ago that it came out. Um, it's one of those things. Horizon was very current and even that didn't do well. Prey was also very current when I did it and that didn't do well either. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do going forward with that type of content. So there's that. But I do have a ton of different games over here that I want to dabble through. I've got some Rogue Legacy that I want to take a look at. Um, I've got Ironclad Tactics. I've got um, Forced that I want to look at. Uh, Dust and Elysian Tale is a game that I'd like to look at. We've got Downward, uh, Dishonored, Darkest Dungeon. I'd love to do Darkest Dungeon here on the channel. Um, the game really intrigues me. I like turn-based combat. Um, the one thing that really rubs me the wrong way, I guess, with Darkest Dungeon is the lack of story. A lot of times you push through a turn-based styled game because of the story. Like that's why I love Final Fantasy games. And Darkest Dungeon is lacking in that like really good layer of story. And I don't know, I'd love to give it a look though. I've got Bastion sitting over here, Brothers, which I hear is really short. So I think I could probably get through Brothers, although it is like, four years too late in castle crashers which i'd love to do with uh dave and zoo dude and maybe even razor um there's a lot of games that i want to play here on the channel and there's games coming out at the end of the year that i'm really excited to play destiny is a big one not sure what i'm going to do with destiny i don't know if it's going to be on the channel or not if i'm going to play it in my own time and just talk about it um i'm assuming i'm going to play it with zoo dude um at least zoo dude uh and probably dave and probably be involved in the content that they put together um, but I don't know 100% yet if I'm going to put it up I don't know if my type of content is really going to cater toward the destiny um, you guys did seem to enjoy lost in space series which was all of us playing destiny here on this channel 
So maybe I will just play from start to end with them and then end it and let them just do the rest of their stuff with like guns and I don't I don't know what kind of content they're going to put together, but I'm sure it's going to be great and it's going to be different than what I've got here. Um which is one of the great things about it is you guys can check out all of our content and get something different. And between the four of us now, you've got a world of content. There's a lot of stuff for you guys to watch and have a good time watching and enjoy. And I really hope that you guys will check out all of our stuff. And yeah, come back very soon for more. We've got all kinds of stuff. Please look forward to Slime Rancher. Um, if you know anybody who likes Slime Rancher, or you know anybody who's interested in Slime Rancher, let them know. It's starting August 1st. It comes out August 1st. I've got a series here on the channel already. I'm working up to patch, I think, 4.4. Um, check that out if it's something you're interested in. Um, yeah, and other than that, content's still coming. I don't know when the next update will be. Hopefully, I'll have some good stuff for you. I do definitely prefer doing this every couple weeks, every three, four weeks. When I have stuff to talk about, substance, a little two-minute channel update of, Hi, I'm alive, guys um this is the content coming up it's it's not what i'm it's not what i want to do i don't want to waste your time you can see what content's coming up because it's coming up on it's on the channel you can see it it's there um and so when big games are like series are ending and series are starting that's when i'm gonna do these videos and hope you guys enjoy it so yeah if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button it means a lot to me that you guys do watch these and that you do give my videos a share. As always, with the channel updates, please pick a video this week that you really enjoyed. Give it a share um, and let people out there know what you're watching. Let them know about the channel and let them know that you watch what I do here and that you enjoy it and that's fun. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up pretty much there. Thank you all very much for your continued support. It really does mean the world to me at this point. It's taken a lot out of me to keep the channel going and keep the content coming um while working full time it's along with everything else personal going on in my life right now it's it's nice to know that i can always come and just play games for you guys and relax and it's a great outlet for me and i love doing it and i'm gonna keep doing it thank you all very much 80 subs going strong we'll see you in september for 100 hopefully we talk before then thank you all very much and as always till the next video